Welcome to Make a Path Presents. My name is Ronnie Hayes, and right now we're going to take a quick look at the Walking Dead issue 150 cover variants. Now, uh, we're going to keep this quick. My review of 150 will be up right after this. Uh, this is the standard cover by the regular Walking Dead comic book artist currently, Charlie Adler. Now, there's a retail variant I know a lot of people are talking about. Only one of them gets to the comic book store. So, one comic, one copy of the retail variant per store. And what it is is this cover in black and white. Uh, and I don't want to talk about that any further because it's too rich for my blood. I hear some of them... Uh, a couple people got lucky getting them for around 145, 150, and other people are finding $400 price tags on the retail variant. So it's a matter of luck or connections right now. I hope you guys have uh, better luck or connections than I got. Let's get right into this. This is the standard cover. Actually, if you want to take a better look at that, uh, looks pretty damn awesome. Standard cover, which. I have an issue with the cover now we're going to discuss in the review. Now this is the blank sketch variant. And usually I pass this one by, meaning I don't talk or explain this because I just feel like everyone knows it already. But if you don't know what this is, it's basically just a white, uh, like a thick white cardstock. Is that what it is? Paper on the front and back, it goes around it. It's uh, real thick though, and it's so it's like sketch paper. It's so you can sketch on it. It's so you can take it to a convention and have your favorite artist draw your own personal cover on the sketch uh, cover. If you open it up, you're going to find the same cover as this. So underneath this white is going to be this cover, and then it'll go right into the uh, the actual comic. So if you're curious on what these are, that's what this is. So we have the sketch cover variant. Next up, this is the Michonne. I believe this is by Jason Latour. Almost positive. Yeah, because, yep, Jason Latour is the artist for this one. This one, I believe he's the artist for Southern Bastards, if I'm not mistaken. I am not reading that currently, but I believe he is the artist for that. I cut off that other light, so let's see if the glare is better for you here. I like this cover. And I'm showing you these covers from least favorite to most favorite, by the way. And next is Ryan Otley. Now, when I'm looking at this, I can see uh, the Invincible style because he does uh, another comic with Robert Kirkman called Invincible. It's a superhero comic. I'm recently getting into that one, and I could kind of see uh, like that art style on this cover. But this is also... Nope. This is <laughs> a really cool cover. Check that out. You got a Walker here, or Rick Grimes just screaming, shooting at the Walker. I think that is awesome. So the Ryan Otley variant, or Oatley, I don't know. I might have pronounced that wrong. And for my favorite variant out of this set, Tony Moore's revisiting issue number one. I love this variant. Uh, it's even better in person because you can look at the finer detail when you look uh, in the glass, the images of the different characters. I didn't even see Carol before. Uh, now I can see Carol. Dale's over there. Jim's up here. Shane is uh, over there. Yeah, Shane is over there by Jim. I mean, this is an awesome cover, especially for Walking Dead fans who have been reading for a long, long time. Uh, Fans that probably started with issue number one probably absolutely love this cover. But uh, I, I think it's my favorite out of this set. It has a lot to do with uh, the original artist that started The Walking Dead with Robert Kirkman. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, the same style as issue one. But it shows Rick Grimes how he looks now. And it shows all the dead characters in the broken glass. Because on the original issue, it was walkers that were in the broken glass. Uh, I think the whole idea of it is just genius. I love it. So that is the other variant. So in all, you have the Tony Moore variant. The Ryan Otley variant. The Jason Latour variant. The blank sketch variant. And then you have the standard copy, and on top of that would be 
the retailer variant, which is a black and white of this. All right, guys, I'm going to get going, jump into the review of 150. Uh, I'll see you over there. <laughs> Thoughts and opinions, actually, about these variants in that comment box. Please pick out your favorite variant if you went and grabbed uh, all of them or maybe just one of them. Let me know what was your favorite variant out of this bunch. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.